All right, we're going in. I am speechless. Honestly, there are literally no words to explain the what the situation. Not only did Fnatic not tackle their issues, they've managed to become the worst version of their problem. You know, it's like the choking thing and really, really griefing when the pressure is on has been the thing that has plagued Fnatic since the beginning. And somehow we got the worst version of this ever. Let's see more reactions. Our speech this is very fair. Noah is reported after this game, bro. What the fuck? I think that the worst thing about this is that Noah was cooking, bro. Like, Noah was playing well up until the point where he just threw the whole game. Like, he did that 1v2 on board. He laned well. They, they, they shat on them. They shat on them, bro. Like, he played so good until he just completely ran it down and got Orn ulted and after eating in or some shit. Oh. Damn. I, like, like, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey and Hans winning, bro. Especially Mickey, bro. Winning this series is crazy. Coach Mephisto, this take doesn't make any sense because you know that the level of mistakes that you make vary and what the mistakes that he did were insanely crazy no one was playing well bro like if you're angry don't fucking talk to me super life noah was playing well up until the point that he didn't like First 15 minutes of the game, first 20 minutes, like, he, he, he was doing well. Like, if, if, to deny that, it's ridiculous. Imagine if this was in an arena, that would be fucking hilarious. But the way he threw, bro, the way he threw was crazy. I think, honestly, you drop everyone except Razork. Honestly, I think you need to do a full rebuild. I've been saying it for a long time, but I think the angle is Razork for sure is one of the best junglers, the best jungle in Europe. I think Razork should stay 100% pro. Razork should fucking stay. I think Jun, you can agree, agree, you can agree. That's the point. I mean, I agree he was most fed person to the team. Look what he did. No, the thing is, you are a person that looks at the game in a very black and white way. I can look at the player and judge regardless of his condition, if he's playing well or not. There's levels to this game, and you are eight steps behind. So I think they should do reboot around Razork. I think support role, guys, support role is very hard. Very, very hard. Like, what is support in Europe? What is support in Europe right now, bro? What is the support role in actually Europe? The support role in Europe is a disaster. What is support in Europe? Hilly has had his has had his worst year of his career. Labrov was playing nine good games, uh, and then in playoffs he was struggling, bro. He was struggling without the rel. He 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 was doing decent and better over time, but he was having a rough time. Targamas was not playing well. Uh, like who 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 else? Who else? Let's go down the list. Uh, like what? Who who do we have? Ignar was not playing well. Zoelis was not playing well. Like all support. Trimby was not playing well. Trimby was playing bad. Bro, like supports. Like I think I think keeping June is 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 reasonable. Keeping June is reasonable. Healy runs it for years. Moody Mind, if you if you forgot that Mad Lions was the second best performing team out of Europe last split last year, and you're just trying to like take this out of your mind just to, you know, vomit out random garbage, uh, you do you, you know? I don't, I just don't get the shit. Fuck this. You can set up 10k lead into Renek, still useless. Renek is, Renek is not useless. The, the player, like in the fights that Fnatic took, my bro, insanity. 
I'm following Fnatic's in season one. After all the size, after everything we've gone through, losing three times in a row in the exact same way is just depressing. I'm considering really quitting being a Fnatic fan at all. I'm sorry, but this is what it is. Yeah, it's like nothing inspires hope, right? It's just been the same shit for a long time. At my time in Fnatic, I can tell you, right? I think that we were at least bold in our approach, right? It's like in 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 summer, in summer, we put Whippo Jungle, we put Adam top. And then 2022, bold signings, took Wunder from G2, Humanoid, bold signings. We took some risks, you know? 2022 summer, I can admit, this one pains me more than fucking anything because that was the most winnable split. Like, G2 and Rogue, I'll say it, even though we lost to them, they were not good. This was the most fucking winnable split ever, and this haunts me. I think about it at least once a day. I think about it once a day. It pissed me off really much. And I will take it to the grave. Fire everyone. Support Noah, guys. I think this guy is being sarcastic. How trash are G2 to this entire split? They have 100%. 10 go gold defense every game, but somehow always win. What a trash region. Honestly, I... True. 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 Okay, they need to disband. Just rebuild from Brick 1. This is insanity. I think that... No offense, but I think it's time to look at... The people that have been a part of everything <laughs> since day one, you know, like not day one, but like the last couple of years since 2018, you know, you need, you need to start to look a little bit deeper. Yeah. I'm done for the eighth time. Fnatic min-maxing on losing to G2. Stomps, done. Close ones, done. Favorites, done. Now we lose 3-0 with 5, 5 plus 8k goal lead away. I'm officially done with this team. For the love of God, now change with failure of Ross and the coach too. I hope it's not clear that everyone, no one has to go. Every point game loses can handle the pressure, makes these unimaginable mistakes. There is no sympathy in judging performance. There is no, there is no sympathy that should come out of judging performance. I have sympathy for the person that is Noah, but I don't have any fucking sympathy for the fucking gameplay shit that he's pulling, you know? It just, it doesn't fly, you know? It shouldn't fly. What is Dom doing? Normally, I laugh at Fnatic subreddit, and I say, this is kind of cringe, bro. Ah, he's just doing the same shit I am. This is the most important, embarrassing performance I've ever seen a final, maybe any major region ever. Honestly, I think so too. I can't think of anything that's worse. I, I can't think of anything that is worse. This band is roster ASAP. I think you keep Razork, keep June, and you fucking, maybe, bro, you need to do something innovative. Bro, you, you, you walk up, you walk up to fucking... Nemesis and you ask him who wronged you in Fnatic, we're gonna remove those people. Let's start over, you know? Let's build a roster. Razork, you like him? Really good. June, really good. Let's build a roster, bro. Look at this G2 roster. We can fuck them out. Bot diff. <laughs> it is so fucking funny, bro. It is so fucking funny. <laughs> this is way too fucking funny, bro. Just look at the last fucking play too, bro. But this, this is so fucking funny. Pathetic. XZD. What a shit show. Enough is enough. I'm done. I literally can't believe my eyes. That shit is so hard to do, by the way. It might be harder than winning the fucking game. So I just watched three games. They're all just... Zyra was on our team once. Worth it. That's what you get for disrespecting your opponents. Throwing three times at the slot in G2 in early game. Jeez, I'll skip the season finals. Disrespecting your opponents? You think that's what it is? You think Fnatic was disrespectful? I think it's quite the opposite. I think it's quite the opposite, bro. This is straight up. This is just delusional. He's just saying shit. Try to get try, time to get rid of the GM, bro. Like you have to stop pointing fingers. You have to stop pointing fingers. Literally the prime example of the better team losing three games, three throws. Really hate this look sometimes. I think this is the last game of me supporting Fnatic. I was rooting for them since season two. I was trying to write for something for three minutes, but I can't write all of it to a single comment. What do you even say as a coach at this game? Probably the most disgusting series I've ever had the misfortune of watching. Sad. What an absolute embarrassment. This rivalry is pathetic. I can't say I'm surprised though. This failure of all won't beat you when it matters until the, the, game, the, die, the game dies. No one can handle the pressure. Lemao, don't forget the excitement of the Clown Brigade celebrating Fnatic winning the last pointless red herring series. This time it's different, guys. The last six years was just build up. Haters, where are you? It's the definition of insanity to be this Delulu. Maybe the next six years. I have to say, guys, my time at Fnatic in best of five against G2. I'm two and one against, against G2. But I also won a red heading one. I won a 3-1 against G2 that didn't matter because we got 3-0 anyway. 
in in spring. But 2021, we kind of fucked them up. And then I didn't get re-signed for 2023. It is what it is. I wouldn't get the roster I wanted anyway. And then they came back to me in spring and I asked for a little bit too much money because, you know, you know how it is, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is, you know, you want to, you want to live well. You want to live well. This series is the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm done. Fnatic never beating the allegations for show notes. I'm a G2 fan, but I'm not happy at all. G2 play like trash and Fnatic is so goddamn bad. They lost this 3-0. And that is the second best team of our region. EU is dead. We will get smoked at Worlds. I think this is the last year I'm watching esports. Been watching it for a decade, but now I'm convinced EU will never lift the cup. <laughs> yeah, the EU, by the way, Worlds is in Europe. Worlds is in Europe. They, there's no boot camp. There's no boot camp. No one plays champs with skills like me and Emerald Flex. And I'm speechless. Three times Renekton, this usage champ is picked again and again, and the coaches don't step in there and getting Oscar away from this croc is unbelievable. Now it's time to drop the Azir, bro. It's time to drop the Azir, but I've been in that position with Marek Brazla. And like to to go to, to fight against him there is just a build up of the whole year, you know? He's he's a stubborn one. I, this this was nothing draft related, bro. There's no way you don't end those positions, by the way. There's no way you don't end those positions. Let's check the the, the league subreddit. Let's let's check the league subreddit. I'm I'm fucking hyped to see this one. All right. This is genuinely one of the most painful iterations of Fnatic versus G2, bro. Oof. One of the worst series in LEC history. Yeah, I agreed. I agreed, bro. I agreed. Bro, Mad Lions versus G2 was a way better finals than this. Way better, bro. This guy with the, the gun thing. Has to be the gun thing, no? We don't need to load it. Fuck X. That Bible is fiction because Noah clearly led the animals to their death. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Holy. Fnatic game plan. Hard win early. Start throwing mid to give G2 fans false hope. Actually lose. G2 needs actual competition. Them 3 0 by being down that much every game is insane. Unreal. What a horror series for Fnatic. You know, up until this point, I was very impressed with the fact that G2 managed to improve in a region that they are far ahead of. But now they have managed to become what they've tried to run away from. This meta, G2 has been awful. Zero precision, zero feel, zero unity, zero attributes that you can actually look at besides, you know, actually, you know, a game plan. You know, G2 recognized that they were bad and did band-aid solutions coming into this final. They recognized the region is shit and we are just going to fucking scale. G2 vs BDS, G2 get a 1.7k gold lead, G2 lost. G2 vs BDS game 2, BDS get a 7.5k gold lead, G2 won. G2 vs BDS game 3, BDS get a 3.7k gold lead, G2 won. G2 vs BDS game 4, BDS get a 5.6k gold lead, G2 won. G2 vs Fnatic game 1, Fnatic get a 4.9k gold lead, G2 won. For G2 vs Fnatic game 2, Fnatic get a 6.1k gold lead, G2 won. G2 vs Fnatic game 3, Fnatic get a 8k gold lead and 3 dragons and 6 grubs and G2 won. This is generally the worst 3-0 I've ever seen in my life. Agreed. I feel like I watched the same game 3 times. Yes. I just watched Fnatic throw 3 huge gold leads in a row. Why do I still follow this team? Probably the worst LEC final ever in terms of gameplay. 100%. 100%. Never ask a woman her age, never ask a man his salary, never ask Noah how he managed to get caught out in crucial moments. A li literal definition of insanity from Fnatic doing the exact same exact thing and expecting a different outcome. Truly one of the worst falls from grace we've seen in the LEC. This man that also how do you throw three games in a row? Noah's fucking dreadful, just praise him already. How do you not carry this when you're that fed? Alright. No, no, no. You know, the funniest thing is, guys, the funniest thing is, 
I feel like the whole community and also me included, we're in a state of mind that some are split, it means that the split is over. But they have to play a fucking regional finals. How the fuck do you recover from this shit? How do you ever face G2 in a series ever again, bro? How do you ever face them ever again, bro? My region is so dog shit. Plot Armos is real. Hansama played meh, but Noah was wow. What happened to Noah? Even TL would have put up a better fight. TL would destroy both of these teams. Even though TL right now aren't even in good form. Right now they aren't even in good form. Are you serious? TL gets a 3k gold lead, bro. They would win. You know, my main concern is, you know, my main concern is, you know, like, G2, they have pretty weak practice, right? But G2 is not boot camping before Worlds, bro. I don't think it's okay, Riveting Code. Like, obviously, if it gets to the point where people are getting death threats or whatever, people are getting crazy. Like, when people are jokingly saying that they want to, you know, off themselves, like, that's way too, that's way too much, bro. It's horrible, bro. It's horrible, bro. It's horrible, bro. Like, honestly, it's, we're not even one team region. It's like the only person playing really is Caps. Like, and Caps is also doing like a couple of mistakes. But we're like, bro, we will even take that, bro. We will even take that, bro. We will even take that, bro. It's a one player region, bro. Yeah, Rasmus is also doing well, bro. This this is nuts, man. It's it's so crazy. It's so crazy.